Hello, it's Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter here. Now, since I've got this system of storage for my recycled fabrics, many that I've purchased from charity shops, it's easier for me to see what I'm short of and easier for me to see what I need. Now, as the temperature has changed, so has the season changed in the charity shops and they're bringing out all the jumpers and coats and there's very little cotton to be had, which means that when you go into the charity shops now, something that's cotton stands out really well. I'm going to show you two pieces uh, behind me that I bought recently. Uh, I think both of them were shirts. And then I'm going to show you what I found today. Uh, just went into the town centre in Chester into three charity shops and was very pleased with what I bought. And I think... I think there's one lady's blouse, all the rest are men's shirts. So let's take a look. On my shelves then, you can see how much yellows I've got. I've got going into oranges and browns. And I found this little gingham yellow and white shirt. I'll show you what that looks like as a shirt before I took it apart. And then on this row, I found this red and white gingham. And it's a real deep. Oh, was it this one? I'm trying to remember which one it was now. Uh, I'll have to show, but it goes in with my pinks and reds really well. Now, I'm going to highlight another piece of fabric I've got that I took from a shirt. And it's this one. Do you remember me showing you? It's it's just an off-white colour, but it, it features grey and it's just got little sailing ships on it. Well, remember that because when I show you something today, I've got something in mind. Um, and the fabric that I brought today will, is really a fun piece that will go with that and some others that I've got. Well, first of all, I've bought this M&S Broider and Glay ladies' blouse because it's denim colour. Air Force Blue, I would call it, but I'm thinking I want to mix that in with the denim. So it's got lovely pattern down it, quite wide sleeves and big look paisley print on the sleeves there. Tiny cuff. And then if we look on the back... There's a yoke, quite a long yoke, a little bit of braiding, and then an unspoilt piece of broidery and glay on the back. And I bought that because of the colour, because it will link in with the denim project that I've got. And the broidery and glay will add some definition, I think, some, some features to lift the fabric. That's lovely. I've paid £5 for that, I think. Now, this man's shirt was rather expensive because it's a short sleeve shirt uh, and I paid £7 for it. But the reason that I brought this home with me is because it's denim. And look at the detailed pattern I've got in there of a real deep navy on denim. And I think that's fabulous. Now, the other factor of this, it is a large size and because it's a man's shirt, from the top down to the bottom, and there is a little bit of a curve on the bottom as well, it's all one piece. There are no darts. So from underneath the sleeve to the placket at the front, I've got two large pieces there. And likewise, if I turn it on the back, apart from the yoke and quite a decent sized sleeve there, even though it's a short sleeve, this whole back is one piece of fabric which is at least a fat quarter 
So there's a about mm, there's about three quarters of a yard of fabric there. Uh, can you see things floating about here on screen? It, sometimes I have orbs floating about. What I'll do is I'll stop the camera and check them out. But uh, yeah, there goes another one. I think I've got orbs, which means a spiritual presence with me at the moment, which I'm always pleased by. So anyway, as a man's shirt, brilliant. That's lovely. Now, this is a gentleman's shirt by a brand I've not heard of before. And it's navy and white. It's just a clean white striped cotton. It's got a little bit of a sateen finish on it as well. But uh, we just love a contrasting uh, fabric at the collar. Now, this carries that contrast right down the inside of the placket and also on the deep cuff. So I've got two fabrics in one there. Uh, the buttons are nothing to scream about. Uh, and this was from Guide London. Let's see what it looks like on the back. Uh, no placket. There are darts that uh, are obviously folded darts that I'll unpick. So there's actually a lot of fabric in that one. Uh, you can go anywhere with a navy stripe, can't you? And this is the best fun that I've had today. Now, remember the fabric that I just showed you with the palm trees and the sailing on them? This, it's awful as a man shirt, really, but it's huge. I know it's short sleeved, but it's a 4XL so that's a really big man's shirt. So even the sleeves has got a lot of fabric in it. But just look at the fabric design. The surfer and the cars and the surfboards with the palm trees. Now this is by George, uh, which make clothes for Asda. Uh, possibly next. I think they started with next. There's a pocket on the front, quite a big pocket on the front. And I'll turn it over and we'll see what the back looks like. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm saying wow because apart from the yoke on that, the whole of the back there is one piece of fabric. So there's no darts, not been cut into in any way. It's just a great piece of fabric. There's about a metre of fabric in that and I paid £5. And that theme, dreadful shirt, brilliant theme for the quilt I have in mind. And my final find today was probably the last of the summer cotton dresses. This is linen and it's a really vivid orange. It looks almost scarlet red on here. I think it's more orange tones, but there's a huge expanse of lace on the bottom. Uh, the lining is acetate and as you can see, there's a zip going down the back. There's a darted bust on the front and... On the back, there's no shaping. So once I cut that zip out, you've got two very long and very wide pieces of fabric. That's fabulous. So in all then, I'm really pleased with what I found today. I didn't take as long. I only went into shops that I really thought I'd find something in because I know I bought well in there before. The prices are a little bit steep. But then Chester rates are high. Uh, we also went into Wil Wilco's, which is Wilkinson stores, which have gone into receivership very sadly. And people are losing their jobs. Now, that's very sad to see on the high street and uh, we'll be sorry to lose them. Having said that, we did go in. There was nothing that I wanted to buy from there. But all in all, I've had a lovely day out in town. Uh, I've bought some things towards a holiday that I'm going on. I haven't spoken to you about that yet. But uh, meanwhile, I'm really pleased with those fabrics that I found today. 
take a look in the charity shops. There are still some really good fabrics to be found. Uh, also, when you're looking at men's shirts, they're starting to bring the flannel shirts out. And uh, they're worth looking at too, because if you want to make a cuddly blanket, there's nothing better than a men's flannel shirt. It's really soft. Right, there might be a little bit of addition. I'm just going to edit it first to see whether I want to include it. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to say, this is Maggie, Cheshire Crafter. Come back and see me soon to see how I'm getting on with all of those fabrics. Bye for now. Ta-da! So this is a special outtake and I'm going to show you again the short sleeve navy denim shirt. And in this time, instead of focusing your attention on the fabric and what I'm saying, look at the orbs. If I can get you to spot them, they're round objects that are floating around. Now, the lighting conditions and reflection conditions were exactly the same on this item as I had on all the other items, but they were particularly noticeable around me at this time. So for those of you that are interested in uh, spirit and spirit guides, just take a look. For those of you who aren't, then bye. I'll see you again soon. Ta-da! Now, this man's shirt was rather expensive because it's a short sleeve shirt uh, and I paid £7 for it. But the reason that I brought this home with me is because it's denim. And look at the detailed pattern I've got in there of a real deep navy on denim. And I think that's fabulous. Now, the other factor of this, it is a large size and because it's a man's shirt, from the top down to the bottom and there is a little bit of a curve on the bottom as well it's all one piece there are no darts so from underneath the sleeve to the placket at the front i've got two large pieces there mm -hmm. and likewise if i turn it on the back apart from the yoke and quite a decent sized sleeve there even though it's a short sleeve this whole back is one piece of fabric which is at least a fat quarter so there's a about mm, there's about three quarters of a yard of fabric there uh can you see things floating about here on screen it, sometimes i have orbs floating about what i'll do is i'll stop the camera and check them out but uh yeah there goes another one i think i've got orbs which means a spiritual presence with me at the moment which i'm always pleased by so anyway as a man's shirt brilliant that's lovely just out of interest from the same shop that i bought that blue denim shirt i bought this book and i just touched this book before I photograph the denim shirt. I don't know if there's a link. I'm going to find this interesting to read, I think. Okay, bye.